Post Malone is under fire by the media. Now, let me preface this by saying that Post Malone has become so popular, so successful. This year has been incredible. I read something that um, he has been the most streamed and the most popular musician of this entire year. He is wow. the biggest musician in the world, 2018, or maybe the United States. I don't know. But, like, combined with his first album, his first album, you guys, broke Michael Jackson's Thriller That's crazy. record for being on, like, the top 10 billboard for the longest consecutive weeks. Okay. Do we have no internet? Oh, I have internet. You do? I think so. Dan? I have internet. Oh, there we go. Thank God. Okay. We have a backup system for that. Yeah. Anyway, so Post Malone has been wildly successful. And I would say he has critics, but from the fans and the people that consume his music, he always beloved. Had, he always had gotten a lot of shit. Yeah, he's gotten a lot of shit, but the people who give him shit are kind of like <coughs> it's really these uh, old guards. You yeah. Know, these, <laughs> these, you know. Yeah. But the fans, the consumers, he's beloved. Yeah. Because he's such he's got such a great personality. He's such a chill dude. He 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 you know um he's just a great guy. There's there's no question about that. And so he never claimed to want to make anything more than just some good music. Right, you know? exactly. <coughs> and this article is exactly <coughs> that's the problem apparently. Well, the problem that this author seems to have, and this is in the Washington Post, so this is a big, reputable... This was shared with me by a lot of people, so I think a lot of eyeballs fell in this article. Um, the problem he seems to have is that he's not woke enough of some sorts, or he, he sees Post Malone's success as symptomatic of all the problems in the world. And he makes all these grand comparisons to, like, conservative movement it's very political yeah he, he makes comparisons to him being like donald trump the fact that he said he, he didn't it's, vote somehow <coughs> like now we all need to judge him right um that he's pro-gun or like an apoc you know like a doomsday or whatever you want to call it it's all you know used to paint this picture that he's some sleeper conservative alt-right troll i think is kind somewhat they attempt yeah to apply it has it this here. tone for sure because they, there's not really any proof to support that so they kind of try to build this case using things that aren't really direct right yeah and so they don't really come out and say it <coughs> but um <coughs> the thing about austin that i know is that he's never tried to do or be anything He's just making music that he likes. Exactly. It's from styles that he likes. And everybody, it's like, if you don't like his music, if you don't like, it's like, I don't know. I just, the, the thing about this article, like, it's, it's interesting and it's worthy of analysis of, like, who he is and why he's popular now. But it's so mean-spirited. It's so mean. Yeah, maybe you should spirit. read some from the beginning. Well, let me show you, first it's... of all... Here, let me pop this open. The video is so obnoxious. Okay, let's start with this. Post Malone, you think you know, but you have no idea. <laughs> also, the title is, Post Malone is the perfect pop star of this American moment, and that's not a compliment. <laughs> Sounds like one. Got him. <laughs> Sounds like a nice... I mean, why don't you just say what you want to say, then? Yeah. Because she, the, the author, he or she, Jeff Weiss, is trying to make this point of, like, he's perfect because of Donald Trump and everything. And this is why he's... Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's watch this video. Thanks for having me. Um, I, 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 I'm just so... Uh, I, you're just so likable, and I, I, I really am interested in your story. Thank you, man. Thanks. You might know Post Malone as the SoundCloud rapper who went triple platinum for his debut track, White Iverson. You might know him as the genre-bending artist combining country, grunge, hip-hop, you know and just about everything that else. that he also raped babies. <laughs> no? Oh, okay. <laughs> or you may not know him at all, but you should. Malone is huge. For context, his album Stoney beat out Michael Jackson's <clears throat> Thriller for most weeks in top 10 on the top R&B hip-hop Why is he saying it with a chart. tone of, like, someone died? Here's some more things that may surprise you. And help, <laughs> you know... In fact, this talentless uh, hack actually <laughs> dethroned Michael Jackson. Be 
you understand yeah. the artist a bit better. Born Austin Richard Post, he became Post Malone the same way Donald Glover became Childish Gambino through a rap name generator. Malone wasn't always focused on hip-hop. Also, hip -hop. the music is very eerie. Yeah. It's like crunching the numbers. A little fucking spooky. Uh, a little something's wrong here. He learned how to play guitar by playing Guitar Hero. I started playing the guitar because of Guitar Hero. I felt cool with the controller in my hand, so I said, let me do the real thing. In high school, he was he? part of a heavy metal band. He credits Bob Dylan as one of his major influences. Execs at his record company, Republic Records, have described Malone as the Donald Trump of hip hop because, quote, things that should have killed his career have only made him bigger. <laughs> so here they're trying to make an unjustified parallel between him and Trump. Things that should have killed him only made him bigger. I don't even know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. This was one dude's quote, but they're just, even just by being like, Post Malone, Donald Trump. Even and though they, they say it again in another context yeah. in the article, <laughs> so like they're kind of almost subconsciously, in a way, mm -hmm. being like he is Donald Trump and he supports Donald Trump, and you know, they make it like everything's got to be political. It's and like, he likes guns. Yeah, they, it's like if you're a liberal, that. they say like if you're a liberal and you believe in resisting Donald Trump, then you should hate Post Malone. Yeah, and it's like no. It's got nothing to do with politics. In 2016, he said he'd consider playing President Donald Trump's inauguration if asked. Wow. He also admitted he didn't That's vote. pretty much it. Like, <laughs> in 2016. Wait, I don't even, I guess he, yeah. What I, did he know about Trump back then? Like, no, but yeah. This, uh, this but, also, from, but also, if a president asks you to play the inauguration, fuck yeah. And it's Hell from two yeah. years ago, too. He was, by the way, in 2016. <laughs> His first album hadn't even come out, I think. Yeah. He wasn't a mega star. Yeah. Every word he said wasn't dissected. Didn't seem like a play. Somebody asked him, he's like, yeah, I'd play. They're like, oh, this motherfucker <laughs> beats a gate. <laughs> you know, it's like, god damn. Vote for Trump? I didn't vote. Oh, he didn't vote. <laughs> a no vote is a vote for Trump. <laughs> He's not woke enough. How is that damning? He's fucking... Also, by the way, this interview took place when he was like 21. He's 23 now. Mm -hmm. Why? Political, making a political stand? Or, mm, I, I, our votes don't count. Malone is a second amendment. No comment, by the way. They're just like, watch this. And then they go into, he likes guns. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Watch this. <laughs> he likes guns, you guys. Oh, we got he mentioned here. Top comment. Watching this H3 vid right now. Mm -hmm. That's when people used to like us. <laughs> uh, those were the days. Uh, let's a go. large collection of guns. <coughs> on the personal front, he's friends with Justin Bieber and is even open for him on tour. Uh, did somebody say Justin Bieber? Do you know he's Canadian? Did you know that he <laughs> fucked babies in the ass? I don't know. He does not do that. What 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 is that? What, what is that? Like what, what? I don't know. Somehow they're they're turning <coughs> everything into like an, <coughs> having a negative tone, even though they're just saying like. <coughs> Did you know that he's his with... accomplishments? He yeah. opened for Justin Bieber tour. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Showing him on Jimmy Fallon like mm -hmm. that's a problem somehow. Did you know that? Did you know that he has tattoos on his face, often associated with criminal gangs? <laughs> Did, was it true that like Justin Bieber talked you into getting a tattoo? Yeah, well, I figured because I, I we were working on Stony, and then um, we had a tattoo artist come through, and then I was just like, you know what, Justin Bieber's got some tats, and I love you, but I know I'm way tougher than you. <laughs> Why would they show that? He's kidding. He's obviously kidding. But like, what? So what is? They the even point? cut it off before the laughter of the audience. So it's like, <laughs> like, like what? No what? One <laughs> I just don't understand. So this is the video. This is the kind of preface. This tone. This sets the tone, and it's like, dude, what? It's so pointless. This video is entitled "You Think You Know, But You Have No Idea." So what did I learn? He likes guns. <laughs> he didn't vote. He's friends with Justin Bieber. Wow. Let's send this guy to prison. Okay. Well, now let's get on with this. It's just weird to see such a <laughs> like that's a hate piece, right? As much. It's like 
as much of a hippies as you can make without being like so obvious about it. Because mm-hmm. they construct it in a way that people who are sympathetic to them don't see. Right. We I'll happen manipulate. to be familiar with yeah. it too, so yeah. we see it right through it. Exactly, yeah. but it's very because po- a normal Washington Post obviously is a liberal, a, a liberal leaning paper, and um, but it's like a reputable one. Right? Oh yeah, Washington Post is like on par with New York Times. I mean, it's one of the most famous mm-hmm. newspapers in the world. Actually, owned by your boy Jeff Bezos mm. by Amazon. But this is an op-ed. This is not like I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I, it's probably got a lot of traction, though. I wonder if it has views or anything. <laughs> the most popular young artist in the most unpopular young nation is a rhinestone cowboy who looks like he crawled out of a primordial swamp of nacho cheese. I'll hand that to him. That's pretty funny. <laughs> but Post That's Malone... That's so mean. <laughs> well, okay, he's making fun. He says he looks like he's a little sticky. People have said that a lot about him. I can tell you he doesn't stink, but regardless. Here it goes on. This is when it gets mean. Post Malone is a Halloween rental, a removable platinum grill, cubic zirconium proposal on the jumbo screen of a last place team. <laughs> Damn. Get mileage out of that uh, English degree right there. I know, exactly. <laughs> He's like, by the way, did I go mention I went to college? <laughs> His music, one of the shallowest bastardizations of rap to date, and I do not say that lightly. Take, has, it, take it from Mr. Weiss. I know, which, which is basically him saying, I hate everybody. Is Weiss German for white? His name is literally Jeff White. Yes, Dan. He's an authority. Very, He's an authority uh, on rap, on the rap music. Your last name's a white, dude. Mind your own business. <laughs> Dan said that, not me. I don't, see, I don't see race. Has the creative tension of associates at a downtown... Dude, stop with the analogies! <laughs> Has the creative tension of associates at a downtown law firm complaining that $150,000 a year just doesn't cut it. What are you talking about? What just get it? to the point. <laughs> he looks like he clubbed over the he looks like he was clubbed over the head by a cartoon peacock. He just turned 23. So poetic. All right, dude. <laughs> this guy's so bitter. He's so you could you could taste his bitterness. And next <laughs> and America just can't get enough. Mm-hmm. And somehow that's an insult? So, well, yeah, because in his mind, the only reason that America get could like this guy who he, who went to college and is so in tune with uh, hip-hop and knows what's good, the only, re- the only way that America could, could like him is if, you know, the world was just upside down and nothing made <laughs> sense. Kind of like Donald Trump, did we mention, uh, possibly? Um, Nielsen recently named, uh, the suburban Dallas-raised rapper 2018's most popular musician. So it was only a matter of time before Malone had his own festival, a contemporary rite of passage for nearly every major pop rap star who has his face plastered across Spotify's Get Turnt playlist. Well, I'm sure he's on other playlists than Get Turnt. More like most popular songs. How about that one, asshole? Get Turnt. The inaugurary Posty Fest was held Sunday night in Dallas's Dos Equis Pavilion. Watched it like, oh, and did it have to be in a beer? <laughs> a play- it's like, and it was a less a festival than a behemoth. What is S A E? Uh, do you know what that is, Dan? Rush mixer held on a few acres of corporate branded concrete. Many festivals pride themselves on offering non-musical diverse- diversions such as art installations or novelty culinary options. That sounds awful. There were none of that here, though. Just $5 jello shots. That's exactly what I want when I go to a show. <laughs> a novelty culinary option. I think the SAE is a reference to a frat, by the way. So he's just saying, like, a, okay. it's like a frat party. I think he's confusing a concert with a um, farmer's market. <laughs> the, sh- the concerts that I usually go to remind me of Calabasas Farmer's Market. <laughs> There were little to sep- there were little separated from a regular Post Malone concert other than the big name opening acts, and True Religion sponsored Post Malone bandanas featuring an extreme close up of Austin Post himself, glazed squinting as ever. What is wrong with having a festival that's him plus other big artists? Isn't that the also, point? Also, it's his first festival. You yeah. know, it's not that easy to put together. I mean, it's pretty crazy he threw that together. So I know he was working on it a while. 
Um, I don't know what he's comparing it to, but maybe in five years it would get crazier, you know? He's but... like, honestly, compared to uh, Lollapalooza, this thing sucks. <laughs> there was no novelty arts and crafts stations. <laughs> <laughs> this could, should have ostensibly been a coronation. His unequivocal ascension to the A-list pop superstardom of mono-named visionaries. Dude, stop. <laughs> There are artists who dictate the zeitgeist and those who reflect it. Post Malone is decidedly the latter, an avatar of algorithm culture that rewards pleasant banality over the uh, creatively vexing. <clears throat> I need to, oh, when I'm listening to music, I want to be vexed. <laughs> I want to be confused. <laughs> or it's like you're trying to figure it out. Mm. It's like, oh, <laughs> what does it mean? Oh. This guy needs to be thinking all the time. <coughs> I'm sorry about my cough, guys. I'm still getting over this illness. At his own festival in his hometown, he had the opportunity to lucidly state his mission and values. Instead, he revealed himself to be Jack Johnson of the 808s and nakedly grafted hip-hop slang. I love that he's, like, running for office. Okay, guys, here's what I believe. I re he, he's like, he didn't reject Trump and tell everybody to vote. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's kind of what he's saying, right? He had the opportunity to state his mission and values. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like that's what he's right. saying. Right, yeah, that is what he's saying. He's like, unlike Jay-Z and Beyonce, who say they hate Trump and urge everyone to vote, he didn't actually want to say that. But that, you know what, the thing is, <laughs> that is kind of why he's popular, and I'll tell you why. Because young kids, they may already have their mind up, and they may be politically motivated, but this article is part of the problem in that it politicizes everything. Yeah. And Post Malone is decidedly unpolitical. He said, even two years ago, he doesn't vote. And he's a young guy, okay, first of all. But, like, you, it's nice. It's just, nice to separate politics from some fucking things. Yeah. Because it's literally everywhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You don't need to be preached to all the effing time. And he's, <coughs> he's doing it. As, as, as a decision, it's what he, that's what he wants, and because, people like it. Yeah, because he's trying to have fun, because the point is that he's trying to have fun. And that's and his personality when you hang out with him, it, it, you know, you don't have a political conversation. Well, this it's just... <laughs> yeah, but Ela, you basically today, right now, on this live podcast, have the opportunity to lucidly state your mission and values. Right, and I'm So not... what do you believe in, Ela? Or are you just a naked, grifting hip-hop slang? Slang? Slang. <laughs> By 9.30 p.m., chance of Posty filled the app amphitheater. 15-year-old blonde girls and Daisy do. So this guy was there the whole time. I guess he like, was there just hating like... Hating every minute of it. <laughs> like these... You, he, you know these YouTubers that go to Jake Paul concerts? Yeah. <laughs> Although those guys are at least having fun. Kind of, in a way. This guy's like back there with a notepad like... <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these young kids having a good time. <laughs> oh, he didn't even state his values. He didn't even give us his mission statement or his values. Mm, he didn't even tell me to vote. Post Malone did not once tell me to vote. <laughs> you know? Fucking asshole. <clears throat> Who wa This guy has no friends, by the way. Maybe he does, but they're all like... I, I have a feeling when they're... They have dinner parties, and for dessert, they all lay in a circle, nose to ass, and fart in each other's face. <laughs> it's like a snake. Like, okay, you guys ready for dessert? Let's all get in a circle, and then you put your nose right in your uh, your partner's ass, and then you fart dinner back into each other's face. What? Because <laughs> they like the smell of their own farts is the joke. Mm -hmm. Arrogant is, you know, is what I'm trying to say. Um... By 9.30, Chance of Posty filled the amphitheater. 15-year-old blonde girls in Daisy Dukes and champagnes and blunt shirts shrieked as if Post Malone were next to the lineage of Backstreet Boys. Girls that I wanted to fuck, but sadly <laughs> would never have the opportunity. The Jonas Brothers, or One Direction. The main difference this time is that they honored their hero with matching temporary face tattoos, barbed wire on the forehead, a knife-like crucifix on the cheek, and his trademark phrase inked in cursive, stay away and rest easy. Temporary face tattoo. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Bunch of gang members with their face tattoo. <laughs> Rose in Troy Aiken jerseys and Beerbong Bentley marched 
uh, merch grunted with simian glee. 20,000 people rocketed up, stood on their seats. For a brief moment, there was the palatable fear of being stampeded to death at Post Malone concert, which, of course, requires the deceased to be buried in a race car-shaped coffin wrapped in the Rockstar Energy Drink logo. Dude, are you trying to be funny? <laughs> Three Eminem songs served as his intro. Oh, I love that they make this about race. Watch. Presumably a tacit nod to his fandom, but also a heavy-handed reminder that Post Malone is the most popular white guy in hip-hop since Marshall Mathers. Who the fuck criticizes, uh, Eminem? At the moment when the hysteria seemed in danger of waning, Post Malone took the stage to deafening cheers, scorching jet flames and billowing clouds of smoke like a Groupon version of a KISS concert. In 1975, a Groupon hmm. version. First of all, what Groupon. Does that mean? There's no Groupon version. You, when you get Groupon, you go see Kiss. You get a discount. You get a disc. You Kiss. see Kiss. Your analogies are all twisted, buddy. <laughs> you should have said a dollar store version. Yeah. Because Groupon gets you into the show. That was a weird one. You know what? Get maybe. Maybe you need to go back and finish your degree. <laughs> Big shot, Groupon version. Sipping from a red solo cup, he soon began slurring. Too young. It's like he's not, he makes it sound like he's so drunk he can't say anything. Too young. He does talk about that. With a voice like bong water bubbling and the casual misogyny of a member of a red pill subreddit. What the fuck? Well, come on, how are <laughs> So here you go, a direct connection to, like, some alt-right red pilling. Yeah. It's like, dude, that's in your mind. That's not what's there. <clears throat> I actually can't read it because he bleeped everything out. My whip fast. My bitch bad, I guess. I skr skr that coop fast. My coop fast. Your bitch, no. My bitch, slow. She do what I say, so, and she always keep me on my toes. Those lines are as good as any representing what Malone is working on a lyrical level. Well, I have to say, if he's picking out the most misogynic stick, red pilled uh, lyrics, lyrics that ain't that's be, not that persuasive because that's gonna be a real task to <laughs> start like looking at lyrics of <coughs> hip hop. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, and the truth that like uh, Kendrick Lamar who is applauded by all has a great line from his new album where he says he fears being judged by his um or his most base lines you know and if this is the best you could find dude that's not that's really not convincing me that he's a red pill subreddit <laughs> you know on recordings his falsetto is afforded a modest four cylinder strength but on stage it comes off slurred and sloppy Switching like roadkill. Twitching. Twitching like roadkill. Limp off key notes underscored by a booming backing track that operated like a life preserver. I'm going to get effed up tonight. Who is effed up tonight? If I forget the words because I'm too drunk, help me sing along, he told the crowd. It's the same applause line that he used at Coachella. His entire set list was essentially identical to what he played at every festival all summer long, right down to the monosyllabic curse laden between song babbling about haters and the importance of rocking raking up uh, that's what call, that's what's Isn't called a that set pretty normal yeah that's like, what's called a set dude if you're like he's been doing the same thing for 10 years that might be interesting yeah he's been doing the same thing all, all summer. summer that's three months <laughs> it's called a set he's doing he, he tours a lot you gotta know you know you gotta set <laughs> Did you guys hear that the Rolling Stones played Paint It Black at their concert? I it was They're unbelievable. Like, I, I love that. Post Malone dared to come out with a set. When I go to festivals after I'm done with my arts and crafts booth, I like to enjoy <laughs> spoken word. It's different every time it's performed. As if as if the people coming to a show don't want to hear the freaking classics. And by the way, the guy has two albums. It's all there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Even if his voice barely slithered past the tenth road, it doesn't matter fans who knew every word, they were there to commune to songs such as Better Now, his latest anthem and interchangeable heartbreak, presumably made for streaming at the Wahoo's Fish Tacos kiosk in LAX. What? Uh, the problem isn't necessarily that it's crass, 
but that it's meaningless. I thought he was crass. I thought he was a red pillar. It's not that it's stupid, but it's vacant. It's the losing difference between appropriation and outright theft. Woo! So there, he's actually accusing him not just of a cultural appropriation, which is a yeah. high charge enough, but outright theft. Damn! And by the way, this music is only fit for streaming at Wahoo's Fish Taco Kiosk at LAX. Did he get a kickback from the taco kiosk? <laughs> this, he, this guy's involved in big fish taco kiosk money. By the way, I know this article upset him too because he tweeted out fuck you the same day it came out mm. <coughs> which i presume was in response to this article because you know it's like dude <clears throat> he's not trying to be anything he's not he's yeah. not trying to be he's not being a fraud he's not being a you know he's being authentic so if you don't like it i understand it's not for everybody but it seems to bother you that everybody seems to like it about you. But you have to make it seem like it's the fabric that's tearing our country apart. And it's really not. I personally find articles like this to be more damaging yeah. than anything Post Malone's doing. And it's not his fault he's popular. He's doing what he's always done. He's making music he likes. People liked him and they attached to him and they like what he's doing. It's not his fault he's popular. Post, it's like, okay... <clears throat> he didn't cheat his way to the top. He earned it. Post Malone's music is dead-eyed and ignorant, astonishingly dull in its materialism, abandoned, an abandoned lot of creativity with absolutely no evidence of traffic in his cerebral cortex. Ooh, you are so smart. You are so smart. And there's also a negative side. Wait. <laughs> Wait, this was all good? Even if his intention is sincere homage, the blundering wit... Witless limit, imitation can't help but feel like minstrelsy. I'm getting out <laughs> verbiage, verbiage here. Wait, it's like he, a minstrel show, like mm. blackface kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> While people will inevitably appropriate the most culturally relevant music genre, one that's becoming almost intrink, intrinsically bound to the modern con conception of pop. But it's not asking too much to attempt modest synthesis or the incorporation of a single new idea, or at least to not be so grotesquely desolate. We went from Eminem to Cheddar Bob. Mm, shout out to Cheddar Bob. If Post Malone were black, he wouldn't have sold half. He simply wouldn't exist. There you have it. Right here from Thank Bob Weiss. Skips more and more. We don't have to really read the whole thing. Yeah, you get the idea. Yeah. But I just think it's just, you know. It's a little dramatic. What's the most hair. what's most damning <laughs> is Post Malone's bloodless abyss of soul and funk. How do you have a bloodless ab attempts at being emotional feel like hollow gestures? Uh, it goes on and on. I'm surprised there's not a bullseye on his head. <laughs> you could go to right here up. Post Malone's here. problem? Yeah. Post Malone's problem is that he isn't a bad person or even completely untalented. Thank you. Thank you, man. a little talented. Alyssa, I'll, I'll admit <laughs> this. You're not completely <laughs> untalented. Um, it's that he stands for nothing at all. I think almost in a way, good for him. You know? Because music doesn't need to be political. Yeah. Not everything needs to be political. He's an entertainer. That's supposed to be an escape. He can afford to feign the swagger and cool of hip-hop when it's convenient and opt out when it's time to see who's riding for the cause. <clears throat> it's always been a fairly straightforward compact when it comes to hip-hop. If you're a white person eating off of what has historically been black culture, you have a certain obligation to repay that creative debt. Eminem continues to attack the hypocrisies and contradictions that allowed him to leapfrog equally gifted artists. That's a strong statement. Maclore may have lacked subtlety or rudimentary understanding of when to share text messages, but there are no questioning his dedication to confronting his white privilege. Even g Easy, Repeat, even g Easy, dropped out of that racist H&M advertising campaign. So here you have it. You know, what more can you say? Um, yeah. 
Post Malone so perfectly represents is idiotic currents that have carried us into this present cultural submersion where an objective notion of the truth has been systematically muddied. What? That's not a stretch. Like, come That's on. Not a like, stretch. Trump lies. Therefore, Post Malone is popular. <laughs> God damn. Facts are this negotiable, guy. and any hint of criticism, be it for lacking integrity, dignity, or talent, can be brazenly dismissed as the pitiful cries of haters. So, congratulations, I guess. Who allowed this to happen? What hole in the system allowed this greasy, discarded barbecue wrapper to prosper? <laughs> a fake, pale king sitting on a tinfoil throne returned to sender. All right. Oh, my God. <clears throat> You're so bitter, dude. I love how bitter you are. Who allowed this guy to write? Pitchfork. He's like, uh, here's my English degree, and uh, here's a list of all the... I couldn't believe how mean it was when I was reading it. Like, that's what articles are? I feel like dude. there's, you know... I feel like there's a point to be made here. I'm not agreeing with it, but yeah. I understand... If somebody wants to, but like to make a point, but but why so? But to be so mean it's and like bitter, a YouTube comment made into an article, right? It's like an elegant YouTube <laughs> comment. Um, you can make the point that like pop music is vacuous, <coughs> but y one, you wouldn't be the first person to make that point by a long shot, and two, it's not like he's even like the biggest example of that. I mean, mm -hmm. sure. you know, yeah. he's compare like he compares him uh, post unfavorably to. One Direction and like Backstreet Boys. It's like right. that was just as vacuous. Like mm -hmm. their lyrics aren't fucking deep. What the fuck are you talking about? Hit like, me, baby, one more. Yeah. <laughs> this is like, you know, it's the they same. They didn't shit. even write the music. They're like fucking fully right. Packaged. At least he's a songwriter. Exactly. I'll admit he has some. He's not without talent. <laughs> I don't know. The guy's just a dick. He's just Seems so bitter. Like it. And people who don't know anything about him read this. And but you know what? That's 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 part of the game. The bigger you get, yeah, it's part of the game. But the good news for Post Malone is that he's got a lot of love and a lot of fans. And it's funny you say that because if you compare him to his contemporaries, in my opinion, his music is a cut above. It is more, it's nicer, it's better, I think. Yeah, whenever we put like a random playlist of like top top, top hits whatever, or whatever, well, I can't stand most of them. Yeah, I agree. I mean, and again, he, he, he makes it seem like he owes a debt to hip hop and again that's a whole theoretical debate I don't know but but also what, if you're gonna talk about that his genre is not exactly hip hop exactly he's not it's really a rap a merge of he doesn't a lot of rap. stuff he, he doesn't what actually he doesn't rap yeah he doesn't rap he said even in the video they say his biggest inspiration is Bob Dylan yeah I mean he's closer to rock and roll than he is like hip hop rap or like R&B maybe I don't know but he doesn't. But anyway, whatever. So there you go. I read that and I was like, "Damn, this is this guy's a dick." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's wrong. And the thing is, he's he's so desperate to make it political because Post mm -hmm. Malone doesn't. He's just not a political guy, and they hate that. So if anything, you're the problem, buddy. <laughs> How right. many musicians are political? I mean, they're a lot. A lot are. I mean, a lot it's are, part, but a lot aren't. A lot of them are apolitical. A lot of them just want to stay out of it. Well, the problem is that he's poses with guns. Sco spooky. <laughs> and he's from Texas. Extra spooky. So, like, um, a lot do speak, but it's part of this whole, you know, it's so obnoxious, man. Like, let people be apolitical. Yeah. He can I be. I just in, don't see any problem with that. Just let him be. Like, you don't have to drag everybody into the fight. If he doesn't care about politics, does he have to force it? Like, I don't no, know. No, and he's a young guy, too. Like, he's focused on music. He's not reading about Maybe candidates. later in his life yeah. he would care. Maybe he would, but exactly. No one needs to force it. And, like, he likes guns. Like, again, you can be on either side of the spectrum and be pro. That doesn't mean he's not in favor of sensible gun laws. I don't know what his political stance on that is, what way or another, but it's like... Let so let people be unpolitical. Maybe he votes and maybe he cares about politics, but like, just fuck. Just mm -hmm. the people that listen to him want to chill. 